O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Our Lord, the path of suffering trod, and since his blood for man has flowed, tis meet that man should yield to God the life he owes. Alleluia. No shame to own the crucified, nay, tis our immortality that we confess our God who died. And for him die, Alleluia. Beholding his predestined crown, Into death's arms the martyr goes, Dying he conquers death o'erthrown, O'erthrows his foes, Alleluia. Lord, make us your own soldiers true, Grant us brave faith, a spirit pure, that for your name, your cross in view, we may endure. Alleluia. Give joy to your servant, Lord, for to you I lift up my soul. To your ear, O Lord, give answer. For I am poor and needy. Preserve my life, for I am faithful. Save the servant who trusts in you. You are my God, have mercy, me, Lord. For I cry to you all the day long. Give joy to your servant, O Lord. For to you I lift my soul. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of love to all who call. Give heed, O Lord, to my prayer, and attend to the sound of my voice. In the day of distress I will call. And surely you will reply. Among the gods there is none like you, O Lord, nor work to compare with yours. All the nations shall come to adore you, and glorify your name, O Lord. For you are great and do marvellous deeds. You who alone are God, show me, Lord, your way, so that I may walk in your truth. Guard my heart to fear your name. I will praise you, Lord, my God, with all my heart, and glorify your name forever. For your love to me has been great. You have saved me from the depths of the grave. The proud have risen against me. Ruthless men seek my life. To you they pay no heed. But you, God of mercy and compassion, Slow to anger, O Lord, abounding in love and truth. Turn and take pity on me. O give your strength to your servant, and save your handmaid son. Show me a sign of your favour, that my foes may see to their shame, that you console me and give me your help. 
Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Give joy to your servant, Lord, that you I lift up my soul. Blessed is the man who walks in justice and speaks what is true. Hear, you who are far off, what I have done. And you who are near, acknowledge my might. The sinners in Zion are afraid. Trembling has seized the godless. Who among us can dwell with a devouring fire? Who among us can dwell with everlasting burnings? He who walks righteously and speaks uprightly, who despises the gain of oppressions, he shakes his hands, lest they hold a bribe. He stops his ears from hearing of bloodshed, and shuts his eyes from looking upon evil. He will dwell on the heights. His place of defence will be the fortresses of rocks. His bread will be given him. His water will be sure. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed is the man who walks in justice and speaks what is true. Acclaim the King, the Lord. Sing a new song to the Lord, for his work wonders, his right and his holy arm have brought salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation, has shown his justice to the nations. He has remembered his truth and love for the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord all the earth, ring at your joy. Sing psalms to the Lord with a harp, with a sound of music. With trumpets and the sound of the horn, acclaim the King, the Lord. Let the sea and all within it thunder the world and all its peoples. Let the rivers clap their hands and the hills ring out their joy. Rejoice the presence of the Lord for he comes to rule the earth. He will rule the world with justice and the peoples with fairness. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever. The God who is, who was, and is to come, at the end of the ages, acclaim the King, the Lord. Let us give thanks to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the merciful Father, the God from whom all help comes. He helps us in all our troubles, so that we are able to help those who have all kinds of troubles, using the same help that we ourselves have received from God. Just as we have a share in Christ's many sufferings, so also through Christ we share in his great help. The Lord is my strength, I will sing praise to him. The Lord is my strength. I will sing praise to him. He is my salvation. The Lord is my strength. I will sing praise to him. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is my strength, I will sing praise to him. 
Christ will be glorified in my body, whether by my life or by my death. Life to me, of course, is Christ, but then death would bring me something more. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour in the house of David his servant. As he promised by the lips of any men, those who were his prophets from of all, a Saviour who would raise from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father, to grant us that free from fear, and save from the hands of our foes. We might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you should be called Prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him, to make known to his people their salvation, through forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high, he will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to each Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Christ will be glorified in my body, whether by my life or by my death. Life to me, of course, is Christ, but then death would bring me something more. Through the martyrs who were slain for God's word, let us give glory to our Saviour, the faithful and true witness. You redeemed us by your precious blood. Through the martyrs who bore witness to your love, set us free to live for you. You redeemed us by your precious blood. Through the martyrs who proclaimed your saving death, give us a deep and constant faith. You redeemed us by your precious blood. Through the martyrs who took up your cross, grant us courage for every trial. You redeemed us by your precious blood. Through the martyrs, washed in the blood of the Lamb, give us grace to conquer our weakness. You redeemed us by your precious blood. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. O powerful ever-living God, you gave Saint Maximilian Kolbe the courage to witness to the gospel of Christ, even to the point of giving his life for it. By his prayers, help us to endure all suffering for love of you and to seek you with all our hearts, for you alone are the source of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.